I need to know something. The matter of sort. I need to know. Is this not his child? Is this not his child? Are they lying to me? Yes, they're lying to me about it being his child. Is the Kinsey being nosy? Or does she know what Aaron's pulling? Does she know what Aaron's pulling? No. Does she know? I don't want nothing to do with him. Is she not getting that? I got nothing to do with him. Is she not getting it? No. Does she know I don't want him to contact me? Yes. Does she know that I don't want to talk to his dumb ass? Yes. So, question is... I'm still being lied to about that child being his. So, I don't know. Does Kenzie know the truth of why somebody got a hold of me? Does she know the truth? Yes. Is it because it's not his child? Is it because it's not his child? Yes. So... There's something going on where this female knows because he's... Is it because he ran his mouth too much? Is it because he ran his mouth too much? No. But still, I'm still being lied to. People are not getting it. I don't want him to ever contact me. There's a reason for it. And I just asked my yes or no cards saying that is it not his child? And it keeps telling me yes, it's not his child. So I want to get some cards to see what the hell is this going on about. Why is there still lies going on? Why is there lies still going on? What's the lies about? Purity. And I already looked at purity before. It says that it's about being clean with your communication. Somebody's not being pure. Purity. Nobody's not speaking correctly. Somebody's communication is not pure. They're not communicating very well with me. But I know my uh, yes or no cards are being pure and clean about it with me. Because I know my ancestors, God, would not lie to me right now. I trust my cards and what they tell me. Pretty much, I've already made it clear with clear communication that I don't want to be bothered by nobody. I've already made that clear. The universe knows. I don't want him near me. Pretty much. And I'm acting like it. I'm acting with grace. With it. I have confidence in myself. To know that I was purity before. I'm clean with my communication. And it's stating that the communication I got is that my cards are being more pure to me than what I'm being told. Purity means clear communication. No confusion behind it. No reverse psychology. Straight up the bat. And... Pretty much is saying that somebody is not being clean about their communication. Somebody is lying to me, and I know it. There's pure lies going on. 
somebody's not being straight up release pretty much problem is is that I have released I have and it's not cool that somebody's not letting me go I am powerful because I listen to my guides pretty much <clears throat> I have released a long time ago but somebody is not letting me go clean a situation understand your motives for doing what you are doing be as clear as possible in your communication so there's something going on about somebody's being clear and somebody's not being clear pretty much pretty much do not engage in anything so pretty much I have released I was clear about it and I'm acting upon it I know I'm a very powerful with my words I was clean about it and this does no longer serve me so it seems like I got an issue with somebody not letting me go and I don't appreciate that and it's only causing issues pretty much I freely release what I no longer need the problem is is that somebody is still being in negative habits and is still engaging of contacting me when I don't want it and the child is not his my ancestors keep telling me this it's not his child and I'm gonna pr I'm gonna pretty much stick with my ancestors and I know God and my ancestors would not lie to me upon this it's still telling me yes it's not his child somebody is not communicating properly they're not being clean about it pretty much So pretty much I'm dealing with people who cannot release the fact that I've already let go. I've already made it clear before. Clear communication. I got nothing to do with somebody. And somebody is not letting go. And that's not being clear pretty much. Not being level grounded at all. Not being level headed either. The communication is poor. Somebody knows the truth and somebody is in denial. Somebody, somebody is already released and someone's not releasing. There's an issue. Pretty much. Blooming. Do not give up. You have planted for planned for this. Take no notice of what others think or say about you. Open and rise. Someone around you may be jealous of your success. Mark your victories. Victories. I joyly I joyfully blossom and I feel no fear. So, pretty much, I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. So, pretty much, from what I'm getting here, is that someone around me, or them, may be jealous 
So pretty much for me, being pure with my communication and having grace with it of releasing, it's given me success and victories of blooming into something into a better individual blooming and I really don't give a fuck what nobody thinks either because I know what I do and I know what I don't do I know my communication is clear and pure and there's people just being ridiculous right now self love if you cannot love yourself you cannot love another human being. So pretty much that could be the jealousy part is that I released. I love myself enough to blossom into something pure. Purity. I got the power to do it to release blooming into something very beautiful. And I love myself to not tolerate this shit. Pretty much, I love myself to respect myself that I don't have to tolerate. And I really don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. I love myself. You have to love yourself. If you cannot love yourself, then you won't be able to love another human being. I take care of myself. I know what I do and I know what I don't do. Ever since... I released blossoming with success. Somebody's jealous because I love myself with purity, clear, clean communication. I have stated, I have released. I don't want to be fucked with. I want to be left alone. I don't want an individual contacting me because I love myself to know I'm in a better place. I'm blossoming. Because I love myself, I respect myself. And I'm making my communication clean, honest, with grace, and release. Released it. Ever since I released... I'm blooming because I love myself. I respect myself enough to not tolerate anything. Once you love yourself and you respect yourself, you're not going to tolerate somebody trying to come back and talking to you who, who pretty much put you down. Who fucked with you? Emotionally, spiritually, physically emotionally you love yourself that you're not going to tolerate it you do not give a fuck what nobody thinks there's somebody not releasing pretty much somebody's jealous because I have purity I'm acting upon it I release because I love myself and I respect myself somebody's not liking it that when I say I want to be left alone. I want to be left alone. If I released, there's a reason for it. I got gratitude that I love myself enough not to tolerate nobody's bullshit. I love myself to know that I don't have to tolerate nothing from nobody. And I'm not engaging. But I will speak my mind though. The overt covert. So there is a narcissistic. Covert overt. Is not being pure. Their communication sucks. The overt covert doesn't like you. Having self-love for yourself. They don't like you blooming or blossoming. The covert overt 
is jealous because you know how to release to love yourself. They re they have resistance because you have purity and you're acting upon it. That's what it is. That I'm in control, they're not. The narcissistic and the flying monkeys don't have control. You do. And you're doing it with gratitude. You're staying in your power. Yeah, gratitude. Be where you are and be thankful. There is always something to be grateful for. No matter your suffering, gratitude rises a low vibration to a higher one. Do not allow yourself to be surrounded by too many negative people. Life is conspiring for you. So pretty much, that's what it is. I don't want to be around negativity. But I will make it known that I'm not dealing with low vibrational people. Pretty much, gratitude is where you stay away from negative people. You understand what the overt, covert narcissistic is doing. They cannot release. They can't. They don't have self-love. They have no feelings at all. They're jealous because you're blossoming. Because you're coming into your own power. Of not letting them come back. You're being your authentic self. You are being the true you you're supposed to be. Power. Step in to your true power. Shine brightly. Do not hide who you are, what you are. The time is right to attract big things for yourself. Ancestral, ancestral energy is important. Open your mind to the bigger, to the large Possibilities, big magic can be worth. I have power, it is real. So pretty much that these people don't understand that I'm not scared to be who I am. And I'm not going to hide it for what I am. I know, I know I'm a witch. I know I have powers to some degree. I know I got spiritual gifts and I'm not going to hide it. And I'm doing it with gratitude. When you go through experiences, you understand yourself better. So pretty much, I'm not going to hide for who I am. If there is an issue, I'm going to try to be clear with my communication. Because I'm going to do it because I got the power to. I had the power to release because it wasn't working. Because I lost. I lost myself of loving somebody. I lost myself of loving a narcissistic who did not love themselves. I had re-understood how to love myself. Now I got gratitude <coughs> of staying true to myself. That I got the power to say... If I don't want you near me, I don't want you communicating with me, don't do it. If I want to be left alone, you got to respect it. Because I've already released. And somebody don't have the power to love themselves. They're a narcissistic karmic. Does not communicate properly. Is not blooming because of jealousy. Because they don't love themselves. A narc. Narcissistic. A narc. They're flying monkeys. Don't love themselves. The only thing they love about is being negative. When you start to understand gratitude. You stay away from negative energy. That's why it's right underneath. Release. Because you don't want to deal with drama. You don't want to deal with low vibrational people. You can 
I mean, some people are different, but people cannot stand a low vibrational person. It sickens them. Pretty much that's why they don't love themselves, but you love yourself because you had to go through it. You had to put back yourself as an individual to understand what love was. You had to pick yourself up. You got gratitude because you're purity. You're clean with your communication. Blooming is that they're jealous because you know how to bloom. And they're jealous because you're being your higher self. Pretty much power. It's pretty much saying that you're screwing with the wrong individual. If somebody is growing or is a witch or is a divine being, pretty much it's saying that you're screwing with the wrong individual. You're messing with the wrong person. Of what they're capable of. <sighs> People messing with the most high. Divine beings. It will never work out in your favor. If you keep screwing with somebody. Who is very, very favored. They're not going to get nowhere. So, pretty much. It's saying that power, that don't hide for what you are. Pretty much that you have confidence in yourself and you're going to do a gratitude. You know you're a queen. You know your facts. And you're going to stick with it. That's why it gives you gratitude. To blossom. Because you're listening to your higher self. You know people were lying to you about that child being his and there's still no clean communication. There's still blurry communication still going on. Nobody's not speaking truth, not being clean, not being purity about it. Because you got narcs and narcissistic and flying monkeys. Pretty much, they're trying to put you in a lower vibrational. They can't much do that to you. Because you've already been through it. You've experienced it. You have gratitude. Stayed in your power. You know who you are and you're not scared to show who you are. Don't hide it. Pretty much that if somebody's going to mess with the most high, they're going to show you who they really are. Pretty much. A sissening. It is a time to access your current position. You must make sure your blind spots are revealed and that you are honest with others and yourself. Sometimes the hard decision is the best decision. You should be able to access and move quickly based on the assessment. I am enjoying moving and choosing, moving and choosing. So, pretty much that from all this shit going on, there's people trying to blindside me because they haven't done self-reflection. They're not doing self-reflect right now. They're more trying to do something they need to have self-reflection. Pretty much they need a rude awakening. That they're trying to blind spot you and you knew it. You caught on to it. Pretty much love yourself is to not compare yourself to others. 
So pretty much there's people trying to compare you when that's not the case. Reflect, Self-reflecting is that you know that there's blind spots are revealed. Like people, like blind spots is like people are trying to think that you don't know the truth. That you, that they think they can fool you, but they can't. Blind spots. When you're very high vibrational, they cannot do that to you. Fruition. Fruition is coming to the light. Pretty much stating that coming to fruition like a situation is coming to reality. That these people are trying to screw with you. These people are trying to blind spot you and they can't do it. These people are trying to lie. These people are trying to mess with you of trying to say that this and this and that but if you're very high vibrational you can see through the illusions of lies of what they're trying to tell you see that's why i said people are not communicating properly there's people trying to there's people trying to pull some stuff and you knew about it and it's coming to fruition it's coming to reality that you're not going to tolerate it. You see for what they're doing. You see it. And others can see it. It's coming to fruition. That these people cannot blind spot you. Like what I said. Like I asked my cards. Am I being lied to. About that child being his. And it, my ancestors keep telling me. Yes it's not his. That's a blind spot. That's trying to confuse a person now if you got very high spiritual gifts you cannot be fooled easily if you have not been through it you're not going to understand it but the reality is that the situated situation is coming to fruition that you need to leave a person alone if a person don't want to be bothered with and it's a narc that's doing it and they're flying monkeys. It's a narc. It's a karmic. That it's coming to fruition that these people thought they were going to put a blind eye on you. Well, guess what? That's not being purity. That's just right down being a narc, being jealous, being low vibrational. They're, they're not self-reflecting of their actions. You have self-love. They don't. They're jealous because you have gratitude. You stayed in your power. You know what's up. And these people cannot lie to you. They can't. Pleasures. Pretty much. That's what I'm saying though. Everything is coming to fruition. And that's their issue. If people constantly lie to you and constantly thinks they're blinding you of a situation, it's saying that you already know what it is. You already see an issue that others can't because they're asleep. They're not awake. They're blinded to the truth. They're blinded for what they do. They're blinded half to death. You're awake. You're aware. You're very high, high vibrational and they're not. That's the issue. So pretty much that they need to do work on themselves to stop being an arc. Learn how to have clear communication. Learn how to love yourself. And stop being jealous and learn how to release. And stop being low vibrational karmics. Fruition is coming into reality.
seek light hearted at this time focus on what you should what would make you happy schedule in activities you find pleasurable so pretty much uh, it's coming to fruition that if you have made something clear that you want to do happy things and people are trying to bring nothing unhappy stuff it's coming to fruition that you want purity you want happiness you've released you love yourself you're blooming blossoming you're released you're staying in your power you got gratitude you're assessing come to fruition pleasures of wanting to do happy things not unpleasant things and that's an issue when people want to bring that in your life pretty much growth <clears throat> Pretty much, these people are not having any growth. From them being a narc, from them trying to put you in a low vibrational state, from you being purity, you released, you're having success of loving yourself, having gratitude, stayed in your power, assessing, fruition, a situation come to reality, Pleasures of wanting to do something more happy and not dealing with narcs and flying monkeys. You're going to have spiritual growth. You're going to have growth. That's very beautiful. To have peace. You're wanting peace. And people are not leaving you at peace. They're constantly bringing you stuff. Because for one, they're jealous Two, they don't know how to find peace within themselves. They're scared to show who they really are. Pretty much, you know you want peace. And these people are just being ridiculous. That you just pretty much want to have trust that the universe will take care of this. You trust that you are protected from this you are protected from low vibrational people you are protected from narc behavior you are protected because you're pure you're in a bubble nobody can fuck with you if they fuck with you they got to deal with people they got to deal with your family members they got to deal with other people you are protected not them you trust that you're in your power. You trust it. In beauty. You want peace. You trust that there's beauty. In everything. You want to see beauty in everything. Pretty much. Surrender. You have already surrendered. To the universe. But the narc hasn't, the narc is not surrender to releasing you. They're not surrendering to be a nice human being. They're not surrender to loving themselves. They're not surrender, surrender to nothing. Because they haven't done their shadow work. They have not self-reflection themselves they have envy jealousy issues of being low vibrational and trust that you are protected from it the universe knows that you're very high vibrational the universe is here to protect you from low vibrational karmics you are protected the path so there are people trying to throw you off your path and you're not letting it happen you're not letting it happen at all 
you're not you're not letting it happen because you know you're on the right path and you're not letting people screw with you you've mastered it to block it out you've learned how to pretty much you graduated into understanding that you want love peace harmony at this time you don't want no negativity So pretty much trust is that joy will follow. You can rely on your own capabilities being begin to plan carefully for the future. So pretty much you trust your future that you know who you want in it and you know who you don't want in it. That's the messed up thing. Let go of what no longer serves you. And that's an issue. That the narc is not letting it go. You have. The way is open for you. The path is illuminated. Begin the journey now. Respond and take action. We must be courageous and move forward. <clears throat> so like I said, that it's illuminated. I mean, like you can't be blinded. It's time for you to be on your path. There's people trying to screw with your path. And it ain't going to happen. Realiz realization. With self-awareness comes realization. Acknowledge is powerful. Self-examination of your role within a situation is important. So pretty much, you already know how to stay in your lane. You got these narcs and flying monkeys who don't know how to stay in their lane. They don't have acknowledgement. They're not self-awareness of what they're doing to an individual. You know. You know your boundaries. You know yourself. You know your purity. You know you're not an arc. You know that a situation's coming to fruition. Just some people is not staying in their lane. Since you have released and these people have not <clears throat> that's why it's saying let the universe take care of it your self-awareness your self-awareness of what is truly going on like remember what it stated about knowing a situation kind of like to a degree you know what's going on it's being revealed because of wisdom backing you up. You have the wisdom to understand that they're low vibrational right now. You don't want to deal with it. You're not judging them. Because you have the wisdom to understand that they're in fear mode. They're in fear. It's either old fears or new fears. They're not surrendering. And I think, I think I know why it's, it's a old and new fear is because I don't want to talk to somebody. That's what it is. Balance will. So pretty much I'm on the right path. They have a fear because they don't, they need to balance out their selves. And they do not have the will power to stop the bullshit. You have the will to be purity, release, trusting to surrender the path 
realization, wisdom that you need to let the universe balance and you have the will to let your ancestors balance this out. That there will be beginnings and focus on it. That everything will be okay. That the individual cannot screw with you on a high level. Because they're in fear-based mode. They're too much in the dark night of the soul of not maturing at all. They're not letting go of past fears. They're not letting go of anything. They cannot put a wool over your eyes. No more. You see a situation for what it is. Beginnings. On the right path. Realization. Wisdom. Focus. On beginnings. Of starting your life purpose. And you're not going to let people screw with you on that level. You're not. These people are terrified. That the masculine. That you are sticking up for the weak. You are a leader. And they are hunger for your attention and you're not giving it to them. The masculine is more like a protector, being a leader. And these people hunger for fears, dark night of the soul. They don't love themselves. They feed off being a narc. By being a low vibrational, very, very low vibrational individual, that's not so nice because they're not balanced out. That's what it pretty much is. You're focused on doing good, understanding there's stuff being revealed that cannot be hidden. And there's something that if you mess with the most high and your hunger is to have attention, it's not going to work out in your favor. Everybody has a right to speak their opinion, but pretty much that's their fearful state. That you have stepped up in the world, you're having new beginnings or beginnings without the low vibrational people. You're being a leader. You're focused on being a better individual. You're not really concerned about the hunger of what people are doing. You understand these people are weak-minded. You understand it's low vibrational. And it's funny because these people will never get out of the dark night of the soul. Because they are a narc. And that's what they do. You understand this by wisdom. That they're in fear. That you have become something. And they haven't. You understand. That they're trying to do something. In order for them to survive. Their hunger. Is to bring people down. And go after the weak. And they don't dare to go after somebody who is stronger than them because they know it will never work out and why do you think everybody gets karma when you go after the weak and you don't and you try to go after a strong one why do you think these karmics are cowards why do you think these narcs are very low vibrational individuals if you are a leader and you're in your masculinity you protect the weak from harm. These people hunger for going after people who don't have much wisdom. You're here to pretty much say that, that these people are hunger for attraction. These people... Do not hunger attraction in a good way. 
These people are trying to attract negativity. They attract fear. They retract, attract, unpure, unclean. They're stuck in the past. They're being narcs. They're jealous, envy, and cannot love themselves. So that's who they go for. Somebody who has a low self-esteem, who doesn't have much wisdom, and who has fears. They feed off of that. That's what their attraction is. They're not attracting strong other individuals. They're attracting low, lowest of the lowest people you could ever think of. Because they're, they're cold-hearted as well. They do not know how to love. They do not know how to treat a human being. And my ancestors are saying that you are, there is protection that if you are trying to get something out and these people constantly not listen to you since you are purity, you're trying to get a message out saying that you don't want to be messed with, you want to be left alone, you don't want to talk to an individual, you have released, you're blossoming into a beautiful divine being, you know how to love yourself, you have gratitude. Yeah, if you stayed in your power, you're not scared to show your true, authentic self. You're not terrified of it. You're not terrified to show what you truly are about. Pretty much that you're here. That is being revealed. That you have protection. For the people who are in a situation who's not listening to you. Who's trying to be low vibrational. It's saying that you are protected you have protection or it could be a masculine figure who is protecting you or is protection it could be a mom it could be a dad it could be somebody who is secretly protection that you may not know it could also be yourself protection protecting or protectioning yourself and these people hunger for a attraction for dark night of the soul very low vibrational people and you are protected protection from it creation these people lack these people lack creation in a very positive way. And you're trying to creation in it in a positive way. You do trust your ancestors that everything will be okay. That you have done. The universe is pretty much saying that you have done what you could. You've said, stop fucking with me. Stop screwing with me. I have released. Let me go. Let the universe take over. That trust your path. That they understand. You are trying to create. A creation. Of something good. In your life. Let these people do what they do. Leave them in the fucking dust. They want to be negative. They want to be the devil's bitches. They want to be a nasty. Low vibrational. Narcissistic. Jealousy. Envious. Person who cannot release. New fears are old fears. Let them be them. They understand you have done what you could. And the universe is going to deal with them. Just keep continuing. You have protection. To creation. That keep going. You are protected. Action. Pretty much... Protection, creation, action. You can actually take action on something positive that you want. That maybe it could be saying that you can actually be yourself. You could focus on yourself. Or it's saying that let the universe take action 
upon people who don't know how to leave you alone. Who's constantly trying to disrupt your peace of mind. Don't let the individual screw with you. Action, creation, protection is saying that it's time for you to take action to do good. Action to speak purity with clear communication. You have released. You're blooming into something very beautiful, a creation, because you love yourself. You have gratitude. You know you cannot be fooled by a lie. Things are being revealed to you. What I feel like attraction is you want purity, clean, honest people around you who love themselves, who doesn't hurt people. You want people who's going to love you for who you are, who's going to protect as what you do. There's one scenario for one. There's a second kind. The narcissistic is attracting the opposite. They don't want positivity. They want negativity at all costs. And they're not getting that attention. They're slowly dying spiritually. Because each person, whoever they fucked with, whoever they hurt or tried to, they are protection. They are protected away from the narcissistic behavior of flying monkeys. It could be a mom figure. It could be a woman in your family. Or it could be somebody from heaven that your mom died. It could be anybody. It could be a family member on this earth. Or it could be an angel from up above trying to protect you. And is going to take action to let you blossoming into a beautiful being that you are. The universe is going to take action if these people do not leave you alone. Faith that you will you'll be okay. You want to know why you got faith? Is because you know what you're going to tolerate, you know what you're not going to tolerate, and you're accepting change. You're accepting that people are fucking with your boundaries. You're showing them how you want to be treated. And that's what's going to freak them out. That people are fucking with your bubble space. You are literally, you got a bubble around you. And people can't touch you. They're fucking with your boundaries. You have acceptance that... Your boundaries are up for protection. You have pretty much protection all around you. Whatever this narcissistic is trying to do, you are protected from it. That you will show them how you want to be treated. You're pretty much showing them how you want to be treated. If they don't like it, too bad. Because you have acceptance of wanting to change. You're not wanting to deal with this bullshit no more. You want to have change. You want to be better. You don't want to deal with anything. You want it to be peaceful, loving. You accept change and you put up your boundaries. Narcissistic. Flying monkeys don't like you putting up boundaries. That you're not going to lie to me. You're not going to do anything to me. You are going to fucking respect what the fuck I say. I'm going to make it known what I'm going to deal with. What, what you're not going to deal with. You acceptance this. That you want full out change. And there's people on the other hand. Don't want to accept boundaries. And can't acceptance change. They can't do it. Some some people want change. And there's some that don't. Pretty much. It's eight up. 
The unexpected. The unexpected. Be prepared for somebody trying to come back in your life. Or somebody re-entering your life. That there is a person trying to cause havoc. Trying to disturbance you. You want change. You put up boundaries that... You know what's coming to fruition. The unexpected. Extremes. Somebody's not dealing with crisis very well. They're here trying to destroy and try to screw you up in what you want to do. Discernment. That you want change, you're not going to tolerate it from nobody. And that's an issue. Take care in your choices now. Look carefully and judge wisely. There may have been something difficult to see something that has been obscured but now it has been revealed to you so that's what it is you want change you set your boundaries there's somebody re-entering and there's something being revealed that's possibly not the truth There's an individual trying to come back to cause havoc, chaos, path of destruction. It's being revealed of the unknown. You want change. You put up your boundaries is self-protection. You have self-protection. That the unexpected is that is being revealed that... Somebody you have not seen for a very long time is trying to be a narc because they don't like it. How you're being, how it's being revealed. Pretty much that when I first started the video, I said yes or no questions. It's not that me and child, it's the other ones. You can't really fool me. And it's being revealed. And I don't have to talk to anybody that I don't want to. But I will make it clear though. That if he even step near for, foot, foot near me. This man's going to get fucked up. This man's going to get hurt. And this time I'll let it happen. He wants to play around. He thinks he's going to cause me havoc. Look what happened last time. When he tried this upon me. Gave me a miscarriage. Hurt me in my sleep. Guess what? The unexpected is that if he even steps foot near me. Or even tries to come near me. It's going to be revealed that this man's going to get fucked up. Or his body's going to just fucking appear. That's his issue, not mine. I've warned him in the past, don't do anything. There's people that will hurt you, and he thought I was bullshitting. The unexpected. I put, I put the boundaries up for self-protection. And there's stuff being revealed. There's too many. There's too many stuff being revealed. Too much. So... If you think you can sit there and lie to a light worker, or you think you can sit there and be a hypocrite, it's not going to work in your favor. It's already been revealed of everything. That's what it is. It's been revealed. It's not his child. It's the other dude's child. And I trust my cards on this. But I think I'm done. Or give me a minute. Let me. Let me get a little bit more. To see what's going on. Pretty much. Let me get a little bit more. 
Let me see. Let me get a little bit more. And then I'll talk. These are a lot of cards at once that I have. Goodness gracious. Yeah, just pretty much you know that you got the wisdom, you are protected, and you know that a Nurk cannot touch you. It's revealed that you're okay. That the universe is going to take action. And stuff's been revealed in secret. Let's see, what else is a little bit going on? A very happy family life, financial security, finding little things in life. Plans that need revision, more going on than what meets the eye, poor timing. So there's something else going on that the end of a difficult situation embraced the change and expected things to get better. Now recovering from an addiction. Could be anything. Addiction can mean anything of the sort. Release. It's twice. Need to release. Release, 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 release. Move on. Fucking balance came out twice. Release and balance. Release and balance. Somebody's wish come true. That concerns fade away. A temporary pause in action. So somebody. Somebody needs balance because they had an addiction. They need to release. They need balance. And this is too. It's confirmed it too many times. Release. Balance. The Wheel, Archangel Michael, a time of positive change, a sudden, a situation suddenly moves forward, fortune is on your side. Because someone's stuck in a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things or negative based thoughts, is in hermit mode, because justice, getting karma. Of not releasing and balancing is stuck in fear based mode and hermit mode because the chariot and an important achievement, self discipline, willpower, public recognition. Because somebody didn't choose their love life very carefully, unity is getting away with it. Now there's a law figure who has woken up to the bullshit. Oh, what's truly going on? Somebody got away with... That's why they're getting karma. Getting karma... Is because... They couldn't... They couldn't surrender and release... The old. They got away with it. Of screwing... With someone... Now it's going to lead to a law figure or a judge figure to wake up to have an awakening to this. That's nothing but bullshit. Fear-based thoughts. And it came out twice. Somebody's got fear. Fear. Twice. Fear. Twice came out. Fear, fear, fear. Fear of the old, fear of the new. They're stuck in fear-based thoughts because they're scared that a law figure that 
They cannot get away with it no more because the law figure knows what's going on. They're scared because they know you're going <laughs> to... <coughs> They're scared because they try to get away with it. A law figure knows that an individual had an addiction of not letting go of somebody and needs to balance that they were stuck in fear based mode this twice fears came out that there will be justice while they get karma of having an addiction of wanting to hurt and harm I do have protection on me hardcore people have awoken to this that I'm not being left alone and there's people who thought they got away with it, but a lot of figures sees I'm not being left alone. They know it. They have awoken up to it. Pretty much. And it's coming to fruition. A situation is coming into reality. That somebody is on some bullshit of wanting to hurt, harm out of an addiction issue they need to release they need to balance meaning let go of a old situation and balance yourself out they're not going to wheel is going to look good hermit mode is that they don't know what to do because they know karma is coming their way that somebody couldn't tell the truth they know it's been revealed. The truth has been revealed that somebody, Unity, tried to get away with it. Or they already have. It finally got caught by a law figure and has awoken to it. And there will be justice. And there's karma in the mix of it. Who had an addiction of wanting to put harm bringing chaos and it's kind of said it twice there's an individual and there's a narc who's not releasing who's wanting to bring havoc into my life it's came out twice let me get some angel cards before I get off of here then I'll leave it alone Archangel Michael is here to confirm it that he's here to make sure that there's going to be protection away from the harmful, narcissistic, flying monkeys. Seeing signs of it. That Archangel Michael is seeing that there's somebody trying to bring harm, chaos. Somebody not getting something and not seeing the dangers of a sign. Archangel Michael's here seeing signs of people having too much of addiction. You're manifestationing the truth of seeing signs. Of not wanting to be bothered. It's being revealed. And it's being exposed. And it's coming to fruition. A situation is coming. And it's being manifestationing. Three. Need balance. Archangel Michael is saying that the individual needs balance. That's three times. Three times. It's been saying balance, balance, balance. Seen it in a dream state. It's coming to fruition. Focus on dreams. That you're seeing it in your dream state. That the individual is trying to get away with it. Arch Archangel Michael's here. To put a stop to it. To protect you. From harm coming your way. From an individual who's not leaving you alone. Nurture meditation. So somebody needs to meditation a lot. Needs to go into nature. To relax themselves. And guide and answer prayer. To what's being revealed. What's hidden in the dark comes to the light. <clears throat> a situation is coming to fruition. It's coming into reality. 
The individual cannot get away with it no more. It's an answer prayer of the whole situation itself. Because I listen to my angels. I listen to them. I listen to my spiritual guides as well. Now, somebody wants forgiveness. Because you're seeing signs of a fucked up individual who needs healing in the process. Because they're stuck in enchantment. They're stuck in false entrapment. Stuck in fear-based mode. That is three times. Because you stayed in your power. You stayed in your power. You did not let the individual fuck with you on that hard of a level. You're getting blessings because you're getting justice while the individual gets karma. Because Archangel Michael sees it for what it is. Since you're getting a blessing, you can be more playfulness. You have support and harmony of protection. Because somebody's being childish as fuck. Being childish. And it's stated, you have support. Your ancestors, your angels, your ancestors, God, the universe... You do have support to back you up, and you got others in secret to back you up, to support you. And surrender and release. That's three times that it said, release, surrender, release, surrender, release. And the individual's not doing it. They're stuck in enchantment. They're stuck in fear-based mode. Mm -hmm. That's way too many times it has revealed itself. The person can't surrender and release a soulmate, a soulmate because of body care. Now, how is that my issue? There's going to be a celebration. Somebody being in enchantment is not being clear-headed, is being an arc. Things have been revealed. They cannot rule your eyes. Since they're enchantment, they're not really here because you're clear about your communication. They're not so much. That's why there's going to be a celebration. Miracles that you stayed in your power and not let people screw with you. There will be a new beginnings because you listen to your divine guidance, you listen to your intuition. That somebody can accept themselves and someone cannot accept themselves for being childish as fuck. Bringing issues that's going to cause a spiritual warfare. And there will be judgment. That is twice the karma card. Somebody is getting judged. There is justice and judgment. So, whoever kept screwing with an individual who cannot let go, and whoever keeps saying, leave me alone, these people who are getting judgment calls, they're flying monkeys, and they're narcs, they can't surrender and release, but they're retreating because they know karma's coming their way of not leaving you alone. New love or rekindled love. Intuition. Going to be getting a celebration because you sat there and listened to your intuition. Being admired. You trust your angels. It's time to come out that there's friends <clears throat> of the flying monkey and narcs that are going to be getting judged. They're exposed. It's revealed. Things are coming to fruition. That their abundance may go shitty. And the universe has ideas and inspiration on how they're gonna how they're gonna judge you and what your karma is. Angels are studying upon this right now as we speak. They pretty much surrendered because there's no serenity. And their love life. There's no peace right now. And their love life. 
and they thought they could screw with you, but you're a very powerful being. You have the power to get freedom away from this. They don't. You've worked on yourself. And that's the truth and integrity. And you will have spiritual growth. And I think that's all for tonight. Have a good night.